I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. But Mel Gibson's getting old. But Mel Gibson's getting old. I don't understand why you just won't fucking kill me. <laughs> just pull the trigger, you piece of shit. All right. Yeah, we're uh, we're recording a. Uh, look, look, man. I really don't care what you're doing. Uh -huh. Like, do you want this or not? I'm gonna yes. need that cash. Yes, you want of it. course. Yes, the yeah? cash. Yes, right. I got the cash. Um, what the? What is this, man? Like, you know what? It's good. Next time, we're meeting at an ATM. Ah. Uh. Welcome to Room 666. Today I'll be reviewing Mel Gibson's latest film, Hacksaw Ridge, starring Andrew Garfield, Hugo Weaving, and Vince Vaughn. Coming at you, baby, Mel Gibson. Woo! Woo! Hacksaw Ridge is the true story of Desmond Daz, an army medic in World War II. He saved 75 men in the Battle of Okinawa without ever firing or carrying a weapon. What a fool. What a tool. I would have been out there blasting motherfuckers. I would have been like, kaboom! Kaboom! Sam Worthington, get down, you piece of shit! Fucking Hugo! Hugo, we're in the Matrix! We got a fucking Vince Vaughn in our sights. And bam! 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 Oh shit. Andrew Garfield plays Desmond Dawes, and he does a really good job at doing so. He was nominated for an Oscar, and I think that's great because he's good in everything that he's in. But there are some parts, especially towards the beginning, where he has this really, oh, gee, golly, goshness to his character. And it's this wholesomeness that isn't really interesting. But the character himself is interesting because the real person Desmond does actually did all these things once you come to find out. And that's pretty fucking cool. Oh, uh, I, I don't use guns, sir. I don't ever want to use a gun. Because this one time, my daddy... My daddy, he got drunk. Hugo Weaving from V for Vendetta fame plays Desmond Dawes' dad. And basically he plays it like a TV special drunk dad. It's kind of over the top in my opinion. It's pretty much just as if like Red Skull was a drunk Southern dude, basically. His accent is actually pretty good though. He does a very good Southern accent. I like to see Hugo Weaving in more stuff, you know? Vince Vaughn plays the character Sergeant Hal. And he does a very good job. He's pretty much Andrew Garfield's drill instructor and he's always basically just berating him and yelling at him. And he's always just saying, show me the money. No, no, show me the money. <laughs> your money, baby. Your money and you don't even know it. Your money, your money, baby. Vince Vaughn is still funny when he needs to be, but it's not the Vince Vaughn from like old school or the breakup or the dilemma where he has to tell Kevin James about that thing. <laughs> Sam Worthington from Avatar fame plays Captain Glover and he actually has a, a lot of personality in the film, which is really strange because usually I've hated everything that he's been in. He was in that Terminator movie with uh, Christian Bale that Mick G did. Who the fuck is Mick G? Who the fuck let that guy make a fucking movie? He stands out a lot, which is strange. He's not really in it much, but he plays a captain who at first doubts Andrew Garfield and doesn't really like him. But when he sees Andrew Garfield's courage and the things that he does for the other men without ever firing a weapon or resorting to violence, he really respects Garfield and kind of gives him his due. So it's a pretty good role for him. Uh, it's kind of strange that nobody's really pointing that out, but I guess he is just pretty bland. He's always just kind of there. He's kind of like, a, he was a Jai, Jai Courtney before Jai Courtney became Jai Courtney. Jai Courtney, man. Let's talk about Mel B. B. Mel Gibson. Well, he directs the first half of it like a paint-by-numbers, well-made TV movie. It's very flat. You can see everything coming from a mile away. All the acting around that part is not really the best. But the way Mel directs the battle scenes and the violence is really good. He seems to really like that stuff. That's kind of his bread and butter. If you watch uh, Braveheart, he just uh, he gets all bread and buttery with that violence. He's a bread and butter weasel, baby. <laughs> he throws a lot of Jesus imagery in your face. Um, that stuff kind of gets a little bit annoying, but he does uh, throw a lot of the violence in your face and that stuff's a lot of really cool too. Andrew Garfield kicks a grenade when someone throws a grenade at him. He smacks one with his hand and then he jump flips and kicks one. So it's all very unbelievable, all very crazy stuff, uh, but it's pretty cool in terms of the way that it's filmed because it's very chaotic. You really don't know what's gonna happen. People are just getting shot, people are just dying. Japanese guys are just popping out of the ground and stuff and just killing everyone one by one. And Andrew Gruff is just running around with no gun and he's just saving everybody, patching them up, getting real wild. If you're a fan 
of Mel Gibson, go see Hacksaw Ridge. I think you'll like it. And honestly, it's a very good story. I would say look up the story on Wikipedia because it is a very good, interesting story about Desmond Dawes. And he's a true American hero. Please give your respects to him for that. But as far as the movie, I think Mel Gibson, you know, he could do better. But like I said, if you like his stuff, if you're a fan of Braveheart and Passion of the Christ, Hacksaw Ridge is right in there. Whoop. Go see it. Go give Daddy Mel your money. He's nominated for an Academy Award, which I don't know, kind of goes to show you they're, they've been nominating a lot of TV movies for the Academy Awards. It's been, been a slow year, but let's see what happens this year, all right? Get down! Mel? Stay on oh, the phone shit. and don't hang out for me. I can. I have plenty of energy to drive Whoa. over there. You understand Ooh, me? Fuck. And I will! Mel?